Hello Aquarius. This is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week commencing the 28th of August until the 3rd of September 2017. The first card for you is representing. How do you feel about yourself? Your card is. The Nine of Swords. You are worrying excessively about a situation. You are literally being kept up at night because you are so anxious about a particular issue. It is possible you are working yourself up unnecessarily and, if you were to look at the situation more objectively, you may come to realize that it is not as bad as you are making it out to be. In fact, all that worry and despair is what is making it worse, so rather than fretting about it, do something to change it. The Nine of Swords can also reflect fear of the future, or what may possibly happen in the future. If you allow yourself to be bound by fear of the future, you are at risk of eventually creating a negative reality for yourself by virtue of your expectations. Your nightmare becomes your self-fulfilling prophecy, which is clearly not a desirable outcome. Although most people experience fear, frustration and uncertainty at some point in their lives. You should not allow those negative emotions to immobilize you or keep you from pursuing your goals with enthusiasm and hope. Expect at least some level of uncertainty in the future, and draw upon your inner strength to remain as flexible and adaptable to that uncertainty as possible. The Nine of Swords can also indicate that you are being incredibly hard on yourself putting yourself down or engaging in negative self-talk. For every mistake you make, you blame yourself and become worked up and angry at yourself for messing up again. So, when the Nine of Swords appears in a reading, ask yourself why you are being so hard on yourself, how are you putting yourself down or what is the source of your depression? What can you do to make yourself feel better? You may need to make a more conscious effort to quit the negative self-talk and replace it with positive reinforcement for a job well done. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is. The Two of Swords. What do you want most right now is clarity of the overall situation. You are currently being faced with a difficult decision but you are attempting to hide from it and pretending to yourself and others that if you ignore the decision long enough, it will go away of its own accord. However, the decision will not go away simply by your willing it to depart. Your conscience will eventually force you into facing your refusal to deal directly with the situation. The Two of Swords therefore serves as a reminder that life's decisions are frequently quite difficult and raise the possibility of painful consequences. However, you must take the bull by the horns and make your decisions with your best intentions, fully aware of the possible consequences. Avoidance will ultimately lead to a greater conflict. The blindfolded woman in this card is also an indication that you lack the information you need to make the right decisions at this time. You may be missing something, such as threats or potential risks, alternative solutions, or key pieces of information. Once you are able to remove your blindfold and see the situation for what it really is, you will be in a much better position to determine your path forward. Research your options more widely, 
seek outside opinions and feedback, and ask yourself what you are missing here. Why is this decision so challenging to make? What extra information do you need? The Two of Swords often represents a stalemate where there is no winner or loser. You may be at loggerheads with another person and failing to see each other's points of view. What is needed is a truce, where you either agree to disagree or you seek to understand each other's points of view before coming to a final solution. Thus, not only does this card represent potential conflict through a stalemate, it also represents making peace through a truce. Similarly, the Two of Swords can reflect indecision and being at an impasse with regards to an important matter. Again, there is only so much that you can try to put off. At some point or another, you are going to have to make a decision or have a point of view in order to get things moving again. The third card for you is representing your fears. Your card is the Page of Cups. You are afraid and escaping reality through drugs or alcohol. If this is not you, it can be someone around you who is running away from reality and living in their own world. This is a person who is emotionally insecure and unable to conduct healthy relationships as he expects too much and gives too little. He is lacking in self-love and self-acceptance, and may be emotionally abusive. This person has rampant and unfocused emotions, and may therefore get his or her feelings hurt without reason. He is suspicious, self-doubting, insincere, selfish and easily depressed. This may be someone you know or even a reflection of your shadow self. You or someone you know may also be prone to childlike tantrums and a loss of emotional control in the face of adversity. The reversal of the Page of Cups points to exaggerated emotional outbursts and a temperamental, overly dependent personality. The Page of Cups can sometimes indicate substance abuse, particularly if paired with the devil. You may be using drugs or alcohol as a way to escape your reality and to dream about a more favorable possibility. It will eventually catch up with you. Given the Page of Cups is reflective of your creative abilities, its reversal can indicate a creative block. Alternatively, you may feel thwarted when it comes to doing the types of stimulating, creative projects that you find really interesting but which may not bring in as much income as other things. The ideas are there but you are having trouble figuring out how to make them into reality. The Page of Cups can indicate that you are following an inclination or a hunch but with little thought about whether it is realistic or not. You may be acting without thinking or allowing your immediate desires and emotions to seduce you, particularly if they go against your common sense, such as making a promise you cannot keep or a commitment that does not mean anything to you. The fourth card for you is representing, what is going for you. Your card is, the two of pentacles. You may need to find balance between opposing desires and interests in your current relationship. Life will always be uncertain, yet if you can produce balance and harmony among all the demands upon you, you will ultimately live happily and in prosperity. Thus, the Two of Pentacles serves as a reminder to remain alert, agile and patient as you attempt to juggle your family, your friends, work, finances, health and new challenges. You need to be very clear on your priorities and where you want to invest your time and energy. There is a tendency to be distracted by day-to-day -day affairs and general busyness, so prioritizing your activities and carefully managing your time is essential. The Two of Pentacles brings you back down to earth and reminds you to not only focus on your broader life goals but to also make sure your day-to-day -day affairs are in order. This is a card of good time management and financial management, ensuring that your bills are paid on time, that you keep a record of all your appointments and daily commitments, 
etc. It may sound tedious having to focus your attention on these more mundane issues but this card reminds you that sometimes getting on top of your daily affairs is as important as pursuing your broader life goals. Sometimes, the two of pentacles can indicate that there are problems and difficulties in the future. There may be obstacles erected which hinder the attainment of what you wish to pursue or obtain in life. The situation may cause undue worry and again, you will be required to juggle your priorities and manage your time effectively to stay on top of the situation. Similarly, the two of pentacles predicts change. You need to be able to cope with change, remaining flexible and adaptable in your approach. Rather than putting all your eggs in one basket, you may be better to keep two or more things going at once so you have the luxury of choice, should one option fall through. You must stay centered while you stay flexible and keep informed. Look for new possibilities, be open to change and go with the flow as best you can. The fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you. Your card is, the Four of Swords. You are feeling restless and wanting to do everything at once. Even if your body is telling you that you need to rest and relax, your mind may be pushing you forward, trying to accomplish a long list of tasks. You may be getting quite sick or stressed as a result, so it is vital that you force yourself to pause and take it easy to ensure that you do not become completely run down and exhausted. You may also be trying to avoid any period of contemplation or meditation on a particular issue because you are worried about what it might bring up. You need to return to the energy of the Three of Swords and confront the pain and grief that exists within your heart. You need to experience that pain as it is preventing you from being able to move on. Once you have experienced it, it will begin to subside and you will be able to live a more fulfilling life. The Four of Swords can also represent stagnation and a lack of action that is leading to increased frustration. For example, a long-term marriage is no longer progressing and is spiritually and emotionally empty. You may need to take a break from this stalled situation and come back to it when the energy is flowing better. Similarly, the Four of Swords suggests that you are feeling frustrated with the lack of progress and change in your life. Many things have stood still or have failed to change in the way you were hoping they would. Part of this lack of change, however, is as a result of your passive approach. There may have been situations that were frustrating to you or that you were unhappy with but you may have opted to just sit it out and hope that they would eventually change rather than taking action to create a more desirable outcome. The last card for you is representing, the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is, the Ace of Pentacles. You may see new opportunities come your way to generate a new source of income, or you may be lucky enough to receive a financial gift or windfall. On a broader level, this ace indicates abundance in all areas of your life and a general feeling that you are indeed blessed and deserving of everything that comes your way. Operate by the law of attraction, and send out positive energy into the universe so that you may receive abundance in return. The ace of pentacles is about manifestation of your goals, and that you are moving into a more positive state of mind about what you are capable of achieving. Your ideas are ready to be turned into something tangible. Figure out what will work and make it a reality. Thus, the Ace of Pentacles sees you starting to map out how exactly you will achieve your goals, by creating targeted action plans and getting those actions underway. There are opportunities that are becoming available to you that will help you to manifest your goals and realize your inner potential, whilst at the same time generate some level of income and financial support. You are beginning to see that the world is indeed your oyster and that through careful planning, you can manifest your true goals and desires. The Ace of Pentacles can suggest that you need to introduce something new into the equation. 
rather than let things remain as they are, and hope they work themselves out. The Ace of Pentacles suggests you throw something new into the mix. Consider something that is out of character or something you might not ordinarily do, or get around to doing. For instance, you might consider joining a club, taking a class to learn new skills or maybe even picking up a couple of books to learn how to build a new business. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is the Renewal. The angels sent you this card because you're either near the end of a project or at a crossroads, on the threshold of making an important change. This card signifies that it's time to review and do some evaluation. Make thoughtful judgments regarding your life, and then make confident choices. Rest easy, knowing that you've prepared well. Legal situations are resolved favorably for you. In addition, academic examinations and certification tests go well. Additional meanings of this card, a landmark decision, a career or job change, moving in a new direction, a new beginning. Jeremy Eel is the archangel who helps you evaluate your life so you can clearly decide upon appropriate changes. Spend some time alone with a pad of paper and pen, and call upon Jeremy Eel to help you review what needs to be changed, healed, or released. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.